Good morning, everybody. It is a beautiful October 16th morning. Uh, it's like 14 degrees out. This whole week is supposed to be uh, double digits, which is awesome. We're soaking this up. Um, this will probably be my last video with this blade. This blade is on loan to us here. Um, I thought he was going to come pick it up already, but I guess he's coming tomorrow. So uh, squeak one more last video in of us using this blade. This blade is on loan from uh, Claire Conversions over in uh, Claire, Saskatchewan. And uh, we're just uh, pulling a little bit of dirt with it here. So I'll kind of show you what we're doing. So I remember last year we uh we were using that v ditcher and for the most part the v ditcher did its job but v ditcher can make it very rough so let's just let's just run over here for a quick second i can kind of show you i love that old tractor it's just awesome okay so right in here it's pretty hard for you guys to see this the way the sun is here this morning but this is like this, okay? Maybe if I get on this side. Hmm. You guys see that? Pretty hard to tell. But anyways, this is a bit of a water run here. And that's uh, because there used to be a slough right there. And I wanted to take that one and put it into this one. So I just put the bee ditcher down and just cut this a little bit deeper. I did farm through this this year, but it was rough. And what happens with the bee ditcher is it's hard to tell but when it cuts this V out, it throws all the dirt up here. So this is actually a bit of a hump. So you're coming over the, your normal field, you come up the hump, then you fall down into the actual V ditch, up the dirt, and then back into your field. So it's quite rough. Now, the V ditcher, I think it was, was it 20? No, I can't remember, was it 20, 20 some feet wide? I can't remember. Anyway, it does have extra wings that you can put out and so that way you can kind of feather the dirt. Well, here's a pretty good lip right here. You can kind of see this is pretty humpy and bumpy. Big lip here. So we're basically just using this blade and Lane, uh, the one who builds these things, uh, he kind of saw what we were doing with the V-Ditcher last year. And of course we were, our backs were kind of against the wall. We were like trying to get as much done as we could. It was cold. Winter was upon us nearly. So he's like, Mike, you're going to need this blade to kind of level out some of that V-ditch and stuff. And I was like, oh, okay, maybe. I don't know. I think I did an all right job. And, of course, once we were out there this spring doing our burn-off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, we needed the blade. Thanks, Lion, for spotting us there. So that's what we're doing. We're leveling out what we were doing with V-ditcher. And we're taking that V-ditch, essentially, and we're making it beautiful like this. So this was what was V-ditched down in here, through the dirt up here, through the dirt up here. We're essentially just scraping all that excess dirt off to make a nice transition point between the field and what we V-ditched. All right, that's kind of what we're trying to do. And uh, this water run kind of goes all the way around the corner. This, this slough, if drained properly, will so that one to go into that one, that one will actually come all the way down here into another one. So we're just kind of consolidating our sloughs. It's not uncommon up here to have a ridiculous amount. You might have seven, eight, ten sloughs per quarter. And those sloughs really aren't going anywhere. But if you could say take three or four of those sloughs and consolidate them into some big deadhead sloughs that aren't going anywhere, then maybe uh, you can gain a little extra ground. And even if you don't gain any extra ground, because maybe say the bottom slough is just gonna get bigger and suck up a little bit more land, at least by moving some of the sloughs out of the way, it's more efficient to farm. Because there's nothing more inefficient than going round and round, round and round, back and forth, round and round, back and forth, round and round, back and forth, round and round, fill in over here and then back and back and round, fill in over here and back and around. It's not very efficient. You can get rid of some of those sloughs and put them over here, and then you can kind of farm a few straight passes. All right, let's get cracking. All right. So our old uh, 9380 here, 
We got the old 855 big cam engine in it. Uh, they're not, um, they don't really like cold weather. Most people, most guys who run these engines, they know that. This would be way friendlier on this blade if it was a power shift. It is not a power shift, it's manual. Uh, it's all wired with John Deere guidance and auto steer. I actually have this dimmed right down right now. Kind of get sick of looking at it all the time. I guess I could just unplug it because we're not using this right now. So yeah, let's get cracking. I heard something. Here, voices. It's not a good sign. All right, here we go. And then we're pulling some of this excess dirt from over here. We're pulling it into the slough. Trying to lift up the slough a little bit so that way the water continues to drain down. Now, I believe this blade is an 18 wide. I believe it is. Could be wrong, I've been wrong before. It's been working pretty good. I'm just gonna go down here and I'm gonna keep, I can't pull all this dirt at one time, so you gotta keep doing it in like sections because the dirt, you know, you'll fill your whole blade up and you can only pull so much dirt. But we're pulling all the dirt uphill. See, that's pretty nice to farm through. I can farm through that, no problem. And obviously we were, we have, we did farm through what we ditched last year, but we just wanna level it off a little bit. I'll jump out and kinda show you here again. Okay, can you guys see? No, you can't really see. It's really hard to see here. Oh. All right. Okay, can you guys see? That is the middle, and this ridge, this is a ridge line of dirt right there, and then over here, there's also another ridge line of dirt. Right here, this is pretty good, you can see this. This here, it's kind of filled in with some straw, but this is what we bee ditched. We cut this down and threw up the dirt there, and threw up the dirt here. This dirt is actually higher than the field. Maybe only by like six inches in places, but we're just kind of scraping this dirt, leveling this out, and uh, just cleaning this up so that way it's nice and smooth. There we go, now let's get going. Do this with one hand here. much farther a scraper would actually help. We're already running over the stuff we've already done. We're just taking it to the slough. Because we intend on farming this slough so the topsoil will be an advantage. that guys we're gonna drag it a little further we're gonna go right to the right to the gut of this slough right here is the lowest point we're gonna start lifting it up to spread it this is challenging here come on now not doing a very good job here. there we go there we go well that was 
was not a very good spread job. That's good. I'm gonna have to do this one twice over. I have to stick you guys on my hat. I have to work with two hands. So as you can clearly see, did not do a very good job there. No worries. Just kind of try and spread this back out. You guys can't see anything looking into the sun anyways. Well, I've done worse. I've done worse. So, also I should note that my plan was today, uh, Donovan was going to be on the blade this morning, and I was just going to be ripping around, you know, watching the cut angles, watching the dirt, roaring up to the engine so you guys could hear the purr of the engine while it's loaded up, loading up. And then he decided that he was going to go get sick on us here this morning, and uh, I don't want him around because he's got like near a biblical plague, so I'm like, no, nah, you just do your own thing. So you guys are just stuck with me. Sorry, I can't get you some good outside footage. If we get another blade back, we'll try and make sure we get some good outside footage for you guys. So anyways, we just run all the way back down here and we're gonna grab one more pass coming back and we just keep working our way down. And then that way it's nice and level. So you guys kind of get the idea. Round two. Oh, almost off my pole. All right, we got this, we got this. some of these water runs all right so we were just taking this slough different slough but uh this is actually a pretty dang big slough i don't know if you can see this way over there you can see where we harrowed on the other side of it there it goes all the way out to the right and it goes all the way over there to those trees you can see through my windshield wiper over there so we v-ditched this last year hence you can see where that grass buildup is right up over there there were some trees in there that got mowed down. So that initial ditch is from the V ditch of last year. I'm just coming in with the blade and I'm cleaning up the pile of dirt that was on the edge of it. As you can see, I did right there and I did right up over there. So this 
I'm not done cleaning this up yet, but this one's gonna get cleaned up, and it, and it already has. And then this one, this was all V-ditch, so there was a pretty big cut. Let's just jump outside here. There you can see, that's the initial V-ditch right there. That's the initial one. I'm cleaning up the dirt on the sides, making it all nice and smooth. And then that's what I did with this. Not quite done here yet. But this was actually quite rough in here because there was the initial V-ditch all the way through, through on the dirt on both sides. And this one is all going down to what we call a dead end slough. Dead end slough means there's no way it can ever be drained. It's very deep. And so that's what we're doing. So we're consolidating. We're taking this slough, which is a pretty dang big slough. And then we're taking it and we're putting it in the bottom of that slough right there. So yeah, that's pretty much it. All reds working pretty good. Oh yeah, there is a power line that goes on the ground. So obviously, even when I'm ditching, I don't, you know, maybe I'm only planning on going a foot deeper, so I still get all the lines marked. I've kind of run over them now because I don't intend on going very deep here. Where is it here? Here's one. So this guy, if it's red, uh, this, this, this guy's in bad shape, but if it's red, it means it's buried power, okay? And then orange, there's orange flags, which we had over there where the traco is. Um, that's buried telephone line, this is buried power, and if it's a yellow flag, that means it's buried natural gas, AKA energy. So I kind of ran over the, oh no, you can kind of see it. Here, I'm gonna zoom in here. See that one flag right there? And then actually, I don't know if you can make it out, but there's technically a second one right behind it. I don't think you can see it because I can't zoom in that far. Anyways, doesn't matter. So that comes right across here, right across where these tracks are. Typically those power lines, uh, you know, are around 30 inches deep, give or take. You know, we've maybe gone six inches here because there was already a natural waterway through here. We're just kind of cleaning up. Well, maybe we've got a foot overall. Maybe we've got a foot. So that's always something you want to be careful with. I have never hit a line before. I've never hit a gas line, power line, or telephone line. And I do not plan. I do not intend on starting now. Although we have had to dig holes, we have had to dig trenches, and we've had to go through them, which means you have to find them. So if we were actually digging in here with the high hole. We'd be digging, digging, then we'd jump it, come around the other side. We'd maybe take a foot off the top and then we'd be going down uh, with a shovel. Or if you had a little extra cash to spend, you could get a Hydrovac truck in to locate it for you with, with water and they would just work its way down, find the line, and then you would dig underneath the line. Now, filling your trench back in, same kinds of problems. You gotta fill it in very gently. You can't just pile dirt and you rip the line apart. Those are all different sorts of videos. Hopefully we do not have to do those. Anyways, I'm going to let you go. And I'm going to get cracking. So I'll catch you guys on the flipper. Adios, amigos.